Dear students, in this lecture, we shall learn about the exponential functions and their relevance with growth. Let's get started. Uh, let's start with a simple definition. And the definition says a quantity that increases or decreases by a fixed factor per unit of time is said to increase or decrease exponentially. So the thing is, the variation is dependent upon time and a variable is increasing or decreasing by a fixed factor. So if this happens, we can say that we are dealing with an exponential function. Now this is the standard form of it. Aam tawar pe aapko is tarah ye books mein likha nazar aayega. Aur A jo hai, wo factor hai jis ki hum baat kare te, wo fixed factor jis se jo function hai, wo decrease ya increase karega. And when time increases by one, because we are assuming that the change is over time. Now let us see if we have some graphs. Yes, we have two graphs of these possibilities because there are two possibilities. One of them is the increasing possibility and the other is decreasing possibility. So one is uh, exponential growth and thus other is suitably called exponential decay. Decay se matlab that is declining or khatam ho rie koi cheez. So in the top panel aapko nazar aa raha hai that the same function jis ki abhi hum baat kar rahe the standard form ki lekin yaan par ek parametric restriction hai aur wo ye hai that a is greater than 1. Opposed to the other diagram jahan par hum ne a ko less than 1 consider ki hai but still greater than 0. Iska matlab hai ye koi fraction hai. So aapne dekha ke a ki value par depend karke हम इस फंक्शन की हैयत को बदल सकते हैं। So this is the exponential increase in the upper diagram and the bottom diagram shows the exponential decay. Now uh, there is another type of the exponential functions and that is very much used in our economic analysis as well. Because we have talked about a a की value दो भी हो सकती है, दस भी कोई भी इसकी numerical value हो सकती है। but what if is ki a khas value ho? Wo khas value hai, ye jo aapke saamne ek lengthy se value likhi hai, jo actually ek irrational number hai, kyun irrational number hai, aap irrational number ki properties mein dekhe, jo hum pehle se kar chuke. Aur isse hum e se represent karte hai, where e stands for exponent. So hota ye hai ke, uh, this is a kind of number with certain properties of being irrational number, aur hum isko base bana kar, solve kar sakte hain exponential functions ko and we don't have to worry about the unknown value of a a ki value ki jagah yahan par e hai aur e ki value hume pata hai is 2.718 approximately speaking so the standard form will accordingly vary and you will see that e raised to the power t is appearing there is no a anymore and now a is not unknown we know about the value of e and that is the value which is 2.718. Iska jo proper naam hai, wo natural exponential function hai because of its properties. Now this is the diagram for both possibilities. Ye hai positive possibility where the power is positive and it's a variable explicitly you can see it is x and in this case the power is yes it is a variable value but it's negative. Therefore we are observing a decline and there is a exponential growth in other case. So, you have seen that simple jo hamare paas exponential functions hai, uske lawa natural exponential functions bhi hai, jo ke zyada tar use hote hai hamare economic analysis mein. So, what we can summarize is, is that there are many applications out of which this growth can be a case of sum of money of capital which is observed being, uh, which is being observed over time. Uske lawa, ये exponential functions growth of population को भी measure करने में मदद देते हैं growth of wealth को और growth of real capital and other cases as well. So this is how the exponential functions can help us to analyze the growth of many economic and also non-economic variables. Thank you.